So this is uh, Chloris truncata, or windmill grass is its common name, um, for pretty obvious reasons. If we just take the inflorescence here, the spikes all come from a common point on the main axis and it sort of makes like a bit of a windmill in terms of the, uh, the arrangement. So all of the seeds are arranged along each of the spikes and this is actually referred to as a um, digitate seed head. Chloris or windmill grass is probably considered a really um, an early successional species in that it um, will colonise areas with low ground cover or bare ground. It's, it's considered a, an early successional species. It's found more commonly on, on pretty low fertility soils. The places that it grows is probably most of the reason why you never see a, a great bulk of leaf on, on this particular plant. One of the vegetative features um, that would help you identify um, windmill grass is that the leaf is actually quite flattened. A relatively few species that have got that, that flattened leaf arrangement on the, on the tiller. The fact that the windmill grass moves in early basically builds organic matter and creates circumstances where other species such as your um, early spring grass and your paddock love grass and your parramatta grass can actually um, establish and, and grow effectively. So. Uh, from that, that perspective, it's, it's a valuable species. It will grow in circumstances you know, of low fertility where a few other plants will, will grow successfully.